charged all day uh, with only a 100 watt panel and it's been going from 4 amps, 4 and a half amps to this uh, 0.83 with the sun going up and down. So basically it's not charging a heck of a lot the battery but I've got it connected with my four gauge cables that I made to the uh, 2200 watt power inverter, pure sign power inverter. The cables are not even warm at all. They're beautiful, excellent. So there's the inverter. Um, it's been on, I've been running the washer a full cycle. Uh, and it was doing about 20, 20 continuous amps, sometimes 30 continuous amps. Uh, the voltage now is at 13 volts. It started at, uh, uh, basically it goes down to 13.4, uh, 13.5 when it's fully charged and you start a load. It's down to 13 volts. And this has been almost two and a half to three hours. The washer actually took less power than the dryer. It was doing about 20 amps. Uh, I did a full load and now everything's in the dryer and this has reset itself. So it's actually gone for maybe an hour and 30 minutes uh, for doing the drying of the uh, towels and stuff like that. And this has been doing a consistent 50 amps uh, this last hour and a half. Whereas the washer was only doing 20 amps uh, to 30 amps, 30 amps for about two minutes. The rest of the time was about 20 amps continuous. The dryer again is doing 50, a little over 50 amps for the last hour and a half. So I've done the washer and the dryer and it's down to 13 volts and this thing is kicking butt.